Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today or tonight, it is evening, we are going to be prepping for my wedding dress photo shoot that's happening in a few days. Also, don't forget to drop a like on this video and subscribe to this channel if you're new. As you may know, I'm getting ready for a wedding photo shoot that's happening in a few days from now. And I'm seeing like little, little hairs here, here. So I'm going to oil my face down and then we are going to just make this nice and smooth. We shall start with the oil. I'm using one of my Amazon favorites. If you watched my Amazon's favorite video, you will know what this oil is. It is the jojoba oil. And I like using this so the blade just glides smoothly. I look like a glazed donut. Look at all that. That is all little hairs and dead skin. So this is my skin after. It's just so nice and smooth. I don't know what you, but I could definitely see the difference. I just look brighter. Because I just opened my pores, I'm not gonna be using my usual nighttime acids and mandelic acids because I don't want my skin to be reacting sensitively towards it. We're just gonna put on a moisturizer today just so our skin has time to calm down. So I'm gonna be oiling my hair down with this hair elixir. It has avocado, olive, and almond oils in this. I'm also going to be putting in some jojoba oil. And last but not least, my other Amazon favorite, we're going to be putting some castor oil. This castor oil is quite thick, I'll show you. I'm not gonna lie, putting this castor oil in my hair, it does not feel very comfortable. It kind of reminds me of like if you put honey in your hair. That's why I'm going to put in some water on my brush and then hopefully like spread it out thinly. Lovely. So I'm gonna head to bed and I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. So I just got out of the shower, washed out all the oils I put in my hair last night, and I'm going to do some skincare. Tomorrow's a little nerve wracking for me. I've never officially modeled before. I've modeled for photographer friends, whether that be like portrait, couple shoots, that kind of thing. I've never modeled before when it comes to bridal or anything wedding. Of course, I got married and I had a photographer there, but it's different when you're posing for your wedding photos versus you're posing to sell a gown. So I'm really excited. Tomorrow's shoot is going to be for a bridal boutique. But as I was saying, I have no idea what to expect. I don't know what dress I'm wearing. I'm just excited to have this opportunity and we'll see where it takes us. When it comes to other prep for this shoot, I'm going to do some nails. My natural nails aren't long right now and I like doing press-ons anyway, so I'm gonna do press-ons. So I have this box from Amazon that I got a while ago. A bunch of these almond shaped nails, so it's clear like this. I'm going to paint these nails and then glue them on. And I'm going to be using a baby pink because it's just a natural, natural color and very bridal. Also my birthday is coming up and I'm super excited to get some things in the mail for my birthday photo shoot. I like doing photo shoots for my birthday. I don't really do birthday parties as much, but every year when it's my birthday, I like to like set an outfit, a location and just go all out. When it comes in the mail, I will not gatekeep. I will show you guys exactly what I got and the options I have for my birthday photo shoot and it's gonna be really exciting. So here I'm just choosing which size nail fits my nail bed and then just setting it aside so it's all organized. Next, I'm attaching the nails to Q-tips and popsicle sticks because I have way too much stuff to do around the house to just sit around and let my nails air dry. Before I start making lunch and deep cleaning the house, I'm gonna be putting a little crumble in the oven and making it from scratch. So when my husband comes home, it'll be nice and fresh and warm. So let's get that started. So I'm just eyeballing this and hoping for the best. It's gonna be like a fruit crumble. A little bit of oats just to coat the bottom. I forgot, I'm gonna preheat the oven to 350. I'll be right back. Then we're gonna add a dash of cinnamon. I think I mixed up the order a bit. I think I'm supposed to put milk on the bottom first. Good thing these chunks are big. We are using almond milk, of course. Adding a little bit. Make sure that oat still has some fluff to it. 
This is like a super quick crumble recipe. Now I'm going to do a drizzle of honey and a drizzle of sugar. So she wants his appearance for the video. There you go. And then last but not least, I'm going to be adding these cranberry cashew almond mix. For lunch, I'm making these non-traditional tacos, and this is pulled beef. I actually have a slow cooker, and if you do not have a slow cooker, it is a really good investment. The slow cooker is like my best friend right now. Some tortilla, some of this veggie mix on top with some sour cream. And this is gonna be our lunch. So it's time to pack for tomorrow's photo shoot. I'm packing a few heels just for some options. These ones are from Le Chateau. These next ones are just some clear ones from Steve Madden. And these are my wedding shoes. These flats are from Amazon. They're super affordable, super classy. I also pack these covers just for options when it comes to dress styles. And that is it. Good morning and happy Wednesday. It is the day of the photo shoot. I did a blowout on my hair last night, but as you can see, it kind of got tussled. I also did my nails this morning and just cut them and filed them shorter just so it looks more natural. I'm going to blow up my hair. I was debating whether to do an updo or leave my hair down, but I think I'm gonna leave my hair down because that is most likely gonna look best with whatever dress I'm wearing. So I'm gonna blow out my hair again and then do my full face of makeup because I am kind of in a rush. Um, I'm not gonna be explaining too, too much of what I'm doing because I just wanna be able to focus on what I'm doing. I'll put you on time lapse, but you will see the finished product. This is the before. And let's go. Okay, so I did my hair and this is what it looks like. Just like, you know, little waves. And I did my makeup, very natural looking as always, very bridal, I think. And now I'm gonna do my lips on camera with you guys. Now I'm gonna put this lip oil, it's a coral color. And I'm using this because I want to brighten my lips. My bathroom counter is a mess. I need to pack my lip makeup in my bag so I can do some retouches at the shoot. I'm just gonna wear black leggings, um, a long sleeve shirt, and then a jacket over top so I can easily take things off and dress into different outfits. So this is the look. And we're gonna get ready to go. So I'm running a little bit ahead of schedule and I, I usually don't eat breakfast, but because I have such a long day ahead of me and right after the shoot, I'm going straight to the gym. I'm gonna eat something so I can be fueled for the day. So I'm in my car about to head to the photo shoot. Just, you know when you like wanted something for so long and it's coming to fruition? I'm having one of those moments right now. At the beginning of the year, I made a vision board for how I wanted my 2023 to look like and getting into modeling and dabbling into modeling was on my vision board and just seeing these opportunities come up, it's just, it just validates that prayer and meditation is a real thing. I don't know, it's just like manifesting the life you wanna see for yourself. And this is just one of those examples. It's only the second month of 2023 and I'm already like crossing off things that are happening. So I'm super excited. I'm super excited for the rest of this year. I'm hoping that more opportunities like this will present themselves and I'm just so grateful and blessed. I just, I can feel it. We're going to head to the shoot and I will catch up with you guys later. Oh my 
gosh. So I just finished at the photo shoot and it was so fun. The ladies at this bridal boutique were so kind and just so fun to work with. I love being in a creative space and when, when working with this bridal boutique, we were definitely like getting the creative juices flowing, doing different poses, walks, veils, headbands, outfits, two piece, one piece, like the photos are stunning. It's crazy how manifestation can work because at the beginning of the year, literally less than a month ago, I put on my vision board, I wanted to start modeling and just to get some opportunities. It's just amazing, it's amazing. So if you're out there like, and you're wondering, should I shoot my shot? Shoot your shot, you never know it will stick and just keep going at it because eventually, eventually you'll get closer and closer to your dreams and the photos are stunning, I can't believe it. So, oh my gosh, I'm just so grateful and just, I'm speechless. I just got back from the photo shoot and I wanted to take a moment and just sit down and recap with you guys how it went. The ladies at the bridal boutique were super nice. They knew what they were doing. A lot of the times, like when I've done photo shoots in the past, I'm usually the creative director. So I'm the one that has to be like, okay, I'm gonna move my hair here. I'm gonna do this pose, I'm gonna do that. But it was nice to just allow them to take the reins. The dresses I was modeling were very modern and not like the basic lace kind of dresses you see usually. And so I even saw some dresses that I was like, whoa, if I got married again, I would choose this dress. I was there for almost two hours, 10 dresses in two hours. That's some pretty good time. Their designers are from places like New York, Paris. I think the most expensive dress I tried on today was $9,000 and it was stunning. It was a beautiful organza kind of dress. When it comes to wedding shopping, there's just so many different styles. I loved my wedding dress shopping experience. Overall, it's been a good day. I am going to get some food in my system and then head to the gym in a bit. So I just got back from the gym and it was leg day today. I'm thoroughly exhausted. That is going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to this channel if you are new. And I will see you guys so soon.